In this lecture, I'll teach you five different things you can do with HTML anchor tag. Here on the left, I opened up the HTML document I created for this lecture using Visual Studio Code. And on the right, I opened up the same HTML document using Google Chrome. So the first thing you can do is you can create a link to other website using HTML anchor tag like this. So just after the HR tag, I'll create an HTML anchor tag. The opening anchor tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, A, and right angle bracket. And the closing anchor tag looks like this, starting with left angle bracket, forward slash, A, and right angle bracket. Now I'll put the link content between the opening and closing anchor tag. For the link content, we can use image, text, and any other clickable HTML element with the content. In my case, I'll just put plain text, click this. And after that, I'll add href attribute on the opening anchor tag like this. href. It stands for hypertext reference and its value is the valid website URL or HTML document we want to link to. I'll just put the URL for google.com like this. So this HTML anchor element means to tell the browser that when someone clicks me, just open the google.com on the current browser tab. Now I'll save this and as you can see our link text is displaying here. If I click this link, the google.com is now displaying on the current browser tab. To display this on a new tab, we can use targeted attribute like this. So on the opening anchor tag, I'll add targeted attribute. It has several different types of values, but to display the linked website on a new tab, we can put underscore blank. So now this HTML anchor element means to tell the browser that when someone clicks me, just open the google.com on the new browser tab. Now, first I navigate back to our website, save this, then if I click this link, as you can see, the linked website google.com is now displaying on a new browser tab. And one more thing I want to mention is that you can also link to other HTML document like this. Here I have another HTML document called about.html in the same folder. To link this HTML document, I'll just replace the value of href attribute with a relative file path to about.html. In this case, both index.html and about.html files are in the same folder, so the relative file path to about.html looks like this. Starting with dot forward slash, this means current folder, and then about.html. By the way, if you want to learn more about relative file path, absolute file path, and their differences, Make sure to check out my other lecture about HTML file path. You can find the link in the description below. So now this HTML anchor element means to tell the browser that when someone clicks me, just open the about.html on a new browser tab. Okay, so I'll save this. And if I click this link now, as you can see, the about.html document is now opened up on the new browser tab. The second thing you can do is you can create a link to an element on the same page. This is so-called on-page navigation. Here on the left, I opened up the HTML document I created for this section using Visual Studio Code. It contains one HTML anchor element at the beginning, four page sections, and after that, another HTML anchor element at the bottom. And it looks like this. To link to an element on the same page, first we need to have an ID attribute on the element we want to link to. So in my case, I want to link to this last section element. So I'll add ID attribute like this, ID last section 
After that, we can use the href attribute to specify the link to the element like this. Starting with hash sign and the ID value of the element we want to link. In my case, it's last section. So this HTML anchor element means to tell the browser that when someone clicks me, just scroll to the element which has an ID of last section. I'll save this. Now if I click this link, as you can see, the pages scroll to the point where we can see the whole content of the last section. Now the question is, how do we scroll back to the top of the page by clicking this link? The answer is simple. You just need to put hash sign on the href attribute of the HTML anchor tag here at the bottom like this. So this HTML anchor element means to tell the browser that when someone clicks me, just scroll back to the top of the page. I'll save this and if I click this link now, as you can see, the pages scroll back to the top. Okay, so that is how we create a link to an element on the same page. The third thing you can do is you can create a link to open the user's email program like this. So here's my anchor tag and to open the user's email program, the value of href attribute looks like this. Starting with mail to colon and your email address. So this HTML anchor element means to tell the browser that when user clicks me, just open the user's email program. But in case user didn't set up any email program yet, this will show a dialog window for the user to set up an email program. Now I'll save this and if I click this link now, as you can see it opened up my email program. Here's my email address, here's the email address we mentioned here, here's the subject field and here's the message field. So that is how we create a link to the user's email program. The fourth thing you can do is you can create a link to your telephone number like this. So here's my anchor tag and to create a link to your telephone number, the value of href attribute looks like this. Starting with tel colon and your telephone number. So this HTML anchor element will do two things based on the device user using. If user on a mobile device, it will show a call confirmation dialog like this. And the dialog might look different on different mobile devices. If user not on a mobile device, it will show a dialog to let the user to select an app to call this number. Now I'll save this. And if I click this link, as you can see, there's a dialogue for me to select an app to call this number. So that is how we create a link to the telephone number. The last thing you can do is you can create a link to download a file like this. So here's my anchor tag and to create a link to download a file, the value of href attribute will be the file path to the file you want to download. In my case, I have one image file here in the same folder with index.html called puppy.jpg. So the value of href attribute looks like this. Starting with dot forward slash, this means current folder. And after that, puppy.jpg. And also we need to add download attribute on the opening anchor tag like this. So this HTML anchor element simply tell the browser that when user clicks me, find the poppy.jpg file from the current folder and download it to the user's computer. I'll save this. And if I click this link, as you can see, the image has been downloaded successfully. Now the question is, what if I want to have a custom image file name? The answer is, I can apply my own custom name as a value to the download attribute like this. 
equal so this HTML anchor element simply tell the browser that when user clicks me find the poppy.jpg file from the current folder and download it to the user's computer as dog.jpg I'll save this and if I click this link as you can see, the image has been downloaded successfully as dog.jpg. So that is how we create a link to download a file. If you started learning HTML and you want to master when and how to use every different HTML tag, make sure you check out this playlist and it has everything you need to master different HTML tags. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.